guys, hope you're okay. How did your bug hunt go yesterday? Just wanted to show you that late, um, butterfly that I did. Can you see it? That was that beautiful butterfly. And then, just want to show you this moth as well. Look at that moth. Looks like he's got eyes and a little bunny rabbit nose, doesn't it? And then, I also found a bumblebee. A, oh, a slug and a caterpillar and a dirty wriggly worm so I can't wait to see what you found on yours so today's learning Tuesday the 28th of April we are going to be doing our sounds again for phonics so can you remember what sound this makes in some words Zzz. well done guys so Geraldine Giraffe is going to be watching, um, teaching you today how she's been learning hers. And then there are some words on this sheet here and the clue is if it's in yellow it's the zh sound and there's some picture clues as well. So you can have a go at reading those and you might want to write them if you printed it out next to it or just read them. And then tricky word. Were. Well done. Can you remember if I hide it up? What letters make were? W E R E. Well done. Were. See if you can write it three times for me, or maybe do it in rainbow colours. Can you write a sentence with the word were in? Fabulous. When you've had a little break, because obviously, like I said, we don't want you just working through, we want you to go and have a bit of fun in between. So the next one is our maths and today we're going to do some shape work. So what's this shape? Well done, it's a circle. It's got curved edges and it's a flat shape so it's a 2D shape. What I want you to do with the circles is can you make me a caterpillar today? So will yours be a short caterpillar? Will it be a long caterpillar? Will you use small circles or will you use big circles? And then when we're back at school we can bring our caterpillars in and see who's made the longest caterpillar or the shortest caterpillar or the fattest caterpillar. I've made one here. Can you see my caterpillar? I've put numbers on mine. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I've got eleven circles all together because I've also included my head there, haven't I? So there's mine. Can yours be longer than mine? Will it be shorter? Can't wait to see what you add on it. So look forward to that, guys. If mums and dads want to take a picture of it, um, send it through to me at reception at redbookcase.staffs.sch.uk or you can send me a video of your child making their caterpillar using whatever they did. They might decide to use pom-poms. They might decide to use Lego. They might decide to use fruit. Anything. Whatever you decide, can you make a caterpillar? And then there are some links there. So, writing teen numbers and counting to 20, what do all teen numbers start with? A 1, well done. I think most of us have got there now. I think most of us can write 1 to 20 all the way now correctly. Just remembering that those 7s have to go the right way and the 3s. Have another little break. Go out, do some exercise. Are you doing your Joe Wicks in the morning? I've continued doing those. I found them a bit boring at first, but I love them now. And I feel like I'm getting a little bit stronger as well. So if you're doing that, you might enjoy that. But you might be running, you might be riding your bike, you might just be making obstacle courses up, whatever. You might not want to be outside, you might want to be reading a book or playing your games. But have a break. Then session three is we're thinking of our lovely little caterpillars. So can you see that one's wriggling right up to the top there? What, read the book again if you need to, just so you can remember what happens to a caterpillar how its life cycle goes. So, how did that caterpillar get there? It had to hatch out of an egg, didn't it? And who laid the egg? The butterfly. So the butterfly lays the egg on the leaf, usually on the underneath of the egg, sorry, the leaf, and then that egg hatches and what becomes? A caterpillar wriggles out, they eat and they eat, so this one, these ones are eating all this special food in here, that's what keeps them growing. And then when they grow, they'll finally climb up and they'll hang from this bit of paper, I've got some special paper in there, and they will hang and that is the when they become chrysalides. 
and in that state they then become the butterfly don't they so they harden up over about seven days i think it is and then finally they'll break out of there and their wings will dry off and they'll be ready to fly and continue that cycle so you might want to cut those pictures out make your own little cycle you might want to draw your own pictures which would be wonderful showing the arrows going around for the cycle um, or you might just want to talk about it talk about the cycle of the ladybird so can't wait to see what you do for that and then I know we have got some children that just love doing activities and thank you for sending me such wonderful work the amount that some of you are doing is brilliant and I really am proud of you for doing that guys it's really good to keep that brain active isn't it so well done so this time do some hungry caterpillar maths so you might want to if you printed it you could do it on there or even better I think if you get your own fruit and veg and make up some of your own additional subtraction problems to do you might want to use again if you haven't got fruit and veg you might want to just use your toys again just have a go at practicing though how to add how to take away and writing those numbers and then something that I'd really love you to do if you can is thinking of rhyming words. So if you've got any rhyming word books at home, have a look through, think of a rhyming word and think of the word that would rhyme with it. So I've got some examples for you here. So I've put fly. What can you think of that rhymes with fly? Fly, by, my, shy, hi. What about bug? Bug, rug, hug, slug, etc. And if you get your mums and dads to shout out the words for you and then you can see how many words you can come up with that rhyme with that. I've got ant on there as well, but I'll let you do that one. And again, any evidence you can have for that would be wonderful because I haven't got any, much evidence on rhyming strings for you. So if you could video me or write them down, that would be amazing. So guys, that's it for today. Another day. We're getting closer to getting together can't wait to see you and especially on friday for our next zoom so take care see you soon bye